Navigating Amazon's PPC advertising can feel like a rough trek through a jungle for sellers. Your money is on the line and every ad placement decision is crucial for your business growth. Hello everyone, I'm Akira Patil, Product Evangelist at SellerApp and today in this video, we'll explore the ins and outs of Amazon sponsored products, sponsored brands, sponsored display and DSP placement. Well, here's a quick overview of topics we are covering in this video. Before we begin, if you find this video helpful, click the like button below and subscribe to Celerac so you don't miss out on more exciting Amazon selling tutorials in the future. And don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content. Get ready to optimize your ad strategy like never before. Let's dive in. First is Amazon sponsored product ad placements. Now Amazon sponsored product ads are like digital billboards that showcase specific products to potential customers on Amazon. Imagine you are searching for a new pair of headphones on Amazon. You type in wireless headphones into the search bar and voila, along with the regular search results, you see some highlighted product listings at the top labeled as sponsored. Now these ads work on a pay-per-click basis meaning sellers only pay when someone actually clicks on their ad. They are super popular among Amazon sellers because they can boost a product's visibility and ultimately lead to more sales. Now let's break down the different places where you might spot these sponsor product ads. First is top of search. Now this is the prime real estate of Amazon search results page. It's the first thing shoppers see when they search for a product. Just like how prime locations in a city attract more people, the top of the search results in where you want your ad to be if you are an Amazon seller. It's like having your store right at the entrance of a mall where everyone walks by. Studies show that nearly half of the shoppers buy the first product they see on Amazon search results page. Second is rest of search. If the top spot is like having a storefront at the mall's entrance, the rest of search is like being in a quieter corner of the mall. These ads appear uh, further down the search results page after the organic listings. While they might not get as much attention as the top spot, they can still be effective, especially if you are targeting specific keywords that relate to your product. Third is product detail pages. Now, product detail pages offer another opportunity for sellers to showcase their products through the sponsored product ads. Now, these ads appear strategically on the Amazon's product pages just below the product details. Think of them as the virtual shelves next to the checkout aisle, grabbing shoppers' attention at the final moment. Here's an example to illustrate their effectiveness Imagine a shopper is about to purchase a pair of running shoes on Amazon. Just before they click buy, they notice another pair of shoes advertised on the page. Now these shoes have great reviews, similar features, but are priced $50 lower. This enticing offer might just sway the shopper to choose this alternative. That's the magic of product detail page ads. They can influence the purchase decisions right at the point of sale. Despite not being as prominent as ads at the top of search results, the product detail page ads are still valuable and cost-effective for sellers. They offer a less competitive space where your ads can still catch the eye of interested buyers without breaking the bank. Now, optimizing where your sponsored products ads appear is crucial for maximizing their impact. Let's simplify how you can do this. After checking the click-through rate and the conversion rate values, you might think of aiming for the top of search placement is the best bet. But it really depends on what you are trying to achieve with your ad campaign. For some sellers, getting their product at the top of the search results is the ultimate goal. However, others may find that they get better returns by focusing on the product detail page ads because they cost less per click. 
No matter your reasoning, you have the power to influence where your ads show up using the Amazon's Adjust Bids by Placement feature. This option lets you bid higher to secure a specific placement for your ads. Now let's say you are selling hiking backpacks. You have set a bid of $1 for the keyword hiking backpack and want to ensure your ads appear prominently both at the top of the search results and on the product detail pages. First, you set a 300% adjustment for the top of search placements indicating that you are willing to pay more to secure that prime spot. This means if your base bid is $1 with the multiplier, your bid, uh, you know, $4 for each click when your ad appears at the top of the search results. Next, you also want your ads to show up on the product detail pages. You set a 150% adjustment for this placement, signaling that you are willing to bid slightly higher for this placement compared to your base bid. So with the multiplier, your bid for the product detail page placements would be $2.5 for each click. By strategically adjusting your bids and utilizing the placement multipliers, you can ensure that your ads are visible where it matters the most to potential customers, increasing the chances of them on clicking on your ad and making a purchase. Second is Amazon sponsored brands ad placements. Now, Amazon sponsored brand ads work like big eye-catching advertisements for your brand on Amazon. They are pay-per-click ads uh, designed to boost awareness of your brand among the shoppers. So when you see these ads on Amazon, they usually feature your brand logo, a catchy headline and a selection of products from your brand's lineup. These ads come in three different formats, each offering unique placement options. So first one is the product collection ads. Now these ads let you showcase uh, up to three products in a banner. You can link this banner to your custom branded Amazon storefront or a dedicated landing page featuring only the products in the ads. Now, however, uh, this uh, is essential to be strategic about the products you choose to feature. Uh, instead of displaying a wide range of products, focus on specific subcategories like uh, the winter wear or thermals to increase the chances of shoppers clicking on your ad and making a purchase. Now, these product collection ads typically appear at the top and bottom of the Amazon search results. So imagine you are searching for a new pair of sunglasses on Amazon and at the top of the search results, you see a sponsored brand's ad uh, featuring three different sunglasses from the same brand. If you are interested in that brand, you might click on the ad to explore more of their products, right? Second one is the store spotlight ads. Now they are like uh, giving your entire store a spotlight on Amazon, unlike the product collection ads, uh, which only feature specific products. When shoppers click on these ads, they are directed straight to your brand's Amazon storefront, where they can explore all your offerings without being distracted by the competitors. Amazon's research found that using store spotlight ads can boost conversion rates by a whipping 57.8%. Uh, You'll often find these ads at the top and bottom of the search results, just like the product collection ads. Third one is the video ads. Now think of sponsored brand video ads as upgraded versions of you know, sponsored product ads. Like sponsored product ads, they promote a single product and link directly to its listing page. While the difference, uh, these ads appear and feature uh, engaging product videos that grab viewers' attention much better than the static ads. So studies by Amazon uh, suggest that video ads deliver a return on advertising spend that's 28-43% higher than the sponsored brand uh, product collection ads. That's a significant boost in performance. You'll typically see sponsored brand video ads displayed with Amazon search results. So when shoppers are browsing for products, your video ads could be right there, enticing them to click and explore what your brand has to offer. Third is Amazon sponsored display ad placements. Now Amazon sponsored display ads are a handy tool for brands to advertise their products both 
on and off Amazon's platform. So these ads automatically target and retarget the shoppers with product focused ads, making it way easier for brands to reach the potential customers. Amazon sponsored display ads give you three ways uh, to target your ads. First is contextual targeting. Uh, this means your ads show up for people who are looking at products or categories similar to yours. It's like putting your ad right where your potential customers are already browsing. Second is audiences. Now with this option, you can target specific groups of people as they can shop both on and off Amazon. This could be people who have shown interest in a product like yours or who are in certain demographics. Third is remarketing. Now there are two types uh, over here. First one is the views remarketing. This lets you reconnect with people who have already looked at your product before but haven't uh, bought it yet. It's a way to remind them about your product and encourage them to make a purchase. Next is purchase remarketing. Now this allows you to reach out to people who have already bought the product similar to yours. It's a chance to get them interested in your products too since they have shown their interest uh, in similar things in the past. Now based on your chosen targeting option, sponsored display ads can appear in various places including the Amazon's product detail pages and also the search results pages on desktop, mobile and the app. Third-party websites and apps like Twitch, which is only in US. Uh, for example, imagine you are browsing Amazon for a new laptop. As you scroll through the search results, you might also come across a sponsored display ad showing a laptop stand that's compatible uh, with the laptop you're considering. Now, this ad catches your attention because it's it's you know relevant uh, what you are looking for, making you more likely to check it out. So uh, similarly, when you are checking out a specific product on Amazon, you might notice a sponsored display ad right next to the product's features, highlighting a complimentary accessory. Now, this strategic placement encourages you to consider adding uh, the accessory to your purchase. So these examples illustrate how sponsored display ads can effectively target the shoppers and drive sales both on and off the Amazon's platform. Now the fourth is Amazon DSP ad placements. Now Amazon DSP is a powerful advertising tool that lets sellers buy different types of ads like banners, videos and audio ads to connect with customers both on and off Amazon's platform. So here's where uh, sellers can place their ads using the Amazon DSP on Amazon's own pages like the home page, uh, the product pages and uh, the search results page on other websites owned by Amazon such as Audible, IMDb and Twitch. Inside Amazon's own apps like Amazon Music and Kindle on Amazon devices like Echo and Fire TV and even on other websites and apps that are part of Amazon's network. For instance, imagine you are a seller of hiking gear. With Amazon DSP, you could place your ad on the homepage of Amazon where shoppers are you know, browsing for outdoor equipment or uh, you could target users um, of the Amazon Music app with an audio ad promoting your latest camping gear. Now that you have explored the various ad placements, you might still be wondering which one is the right fit for your business. Now what I have observed is Amazon sponsored product ads tend to outperform uh, the sponsored brands and the sponsored display ads in terms of average conversion rates. However, uh, the choice of the ad type uh, shouldn't solely rely on the conversion rates. It's crucial to align your advertising strategy with your business objectives. For instance, if your goal is to attract brand new customers, it could be beneficial to allocate your ad budget across both the sponsored products and the sponsored brand ads. Now, this dual approach can help increase the brand visibility and drive more sales. Conversely, if you're focused on encouraging repeat purchases from your existing customer base, leaning towards sponsored display ads might be more effective. Now, these can target, uh, you know, previous customers, enticing them to return and make another purchase. 
it's important to remember that uh, a successful advertising extends beyond focusing solely on the high converting keywords. Now, let's take a different scenario. Uh, imagine you are selling organic skincare products. If you target a specific long tail keyword like organic lavender facial cleanser, uh, you might achieve a higher conversion rate, but also a higher cost per acquisition. On the flip side, if you opt for a broader keyword like natural skincare, your conversion rate might be lower, uh, but your CPA could also be reduced, uh, resulting in higher profits per sale. So these insights come to light when you pay attention to each stage of the customer journey. So by continuously, uh, you know, refining your sales funnel, you can gradually decrease your advertising cost while uh, increasing your revenue over time. So Amazon offers a bunch of different spots where you can put your ads, um, whether they are sponsored products, sponsored brands, or even sponsored display ads. But the real trick is figuring out which one and where to put it. Depending on where a shopper is in their journey, uh, but we get it, that's easier said than done. If you are finding it tough to figure out the best way to advertise your business on Amazon, don't sweat it. The Cellera PPC agency is here to lend a hand. Our team knows their stuff when it comes to PPC advertising. We can work with you to come up with a solid plan to get your brand out there, lower your advertising costs and keep your business growing. Feel free to reach out to us at support at cellera.com. And that's it for this video, everyone. Thanks for watching. Your support means a lot to us. It encourages us to bring out more helpful videos like this. So if you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to Cellera. Let us know if you guys want us to create detailed seller guides on any specific topics. You can leave your suggestions in the comment section below and we'll definitely create them for you. And don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content. If you haven't already, click the bell icon so that you will never miss out the video. And as always, happy selling!